I'm putting it out there that we're getting to season three. Yeah, we, well, yes, we're getting to season three, <laughs> and you're going to see Bushmaster, right? <laughs> Done. You here? You here? <laughs> All right, cool. Alem is mine. Okay, so they had a very interesting way of showing your powers on the show. Unlike in the comics, Bushmaster's powers did not come from a like a qualifying event, kind of like Luke Cage. It came from a different event. Can you talk about that a little bit? And also the concept of how, what the nightshade really does. The deal with, uh, with Johnny is he is supposed to have already had latent powers. He's supposed to be strong. And that the night show, it's just, it doesn't, um, it, it reveals. So whatever it's about it, the alchemical process is actually similar to Luke. I mean, it's a, how it was um, done is different. Like they put him in a vat of stuff. I would make it akin to like activating DNA. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We all have latent DNA that, that you know, we can do different things, but it's not, it's not, they're not on. But if you take a substance, like you can definitely activate. And I think Nightshade is one of those things. Got it. You know? So, but there's, there's no hint of Bushmaster being like an inhuman and having like that, that drug he was given was not like teragenesis or something. It was just literally, he, his body already had something that was activated when he was given that shot? Yeah, ah, yeah. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. And so the, the healer that he goes to is, that says the nightshade isn't curing, it reveals, mm -hmm. it's just bringing it to the surface. Yeah, even um, Anansi says it, you know, the first time you see them together. He's like, you know, the power come from within, you know? And it's just like saying, like, don't, don't rely on the nightshade, it's already there. So when he, when he continues to take the nightshade, mm -hmm. when he gets Tilda to continue to give it to him, it's kind of helping him, but almost killing him. Yeah, he's taking time. too much. Mm. That's the thing, you know, like when he in adaptogen. Um, like you, if you take too much, it's just like expensive piss, you know? <laughs> Which no one should be taking. <laughs> Absolutely nobody should be taking expensive yeah. piss. No. I just want to explain that. We are not condoning the use of expensive piss. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the rituals that he's doing, though, a lot of people are like, oh, it's the magic that's making, you know, the, that happen. I said, no, is it that? Or is that just the ritual that he uses to take the nightshade into his body? Mm. It's a good question. Um, and that goes into, like, his animism, you know, like, the whole Yoruba thing, um, which, is, which I've, 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 I've dealt with. I feel like ritual is important to get you into the mind state mm -hmm. that activates you. If, if you're able to go there just by thought, then, like, you've, you, you're advanced. But... Sometimes we need to get ritual to, like, you know, put ritual um, there to, to, to get the mind state up, you know, and I think that's what that is for him. So the nightshade isn't necessarily stopping the bullets. It's actually his power that's been enhanced that's yeah, stopping Yeah, exactly them. right. Like chi, essentially. Mm -hmm. Like his chi, like, if, you know, if at his max, he'd be able to stop the bullet all, you know, completely. What's your favorite fight scene? Because you had a couple. You had a good one on the bridge with Luke. You had yeah. a good one in the warehouse. Good one in the middle of the street. That wasn't a fight, though. You can't. Knocked him out. Yeah. Run his bell a little bit. I, yeah, I like the warehouse one the most when we fight together. It's mm -hmm. pretty fun. And you that know? was surprising. I was like, whoa, we're doing like a back to back. Okay. Yeah, that was cool. Like they had me do some things that were cool in that. And, uh, but Bushmaster still had some vicious moments, like taking oh, yeah. heads, yo. Yeah. He's, he's serious. He's, yeah. He's serious. It doesn't, matter, <laughs> it doesn't matter what powers you have, you are not coming back from that. No, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like working on set? I know you're friends with Dorian Missick, who plays Cockroach, and I know you're friends with Simone Missick, who plays Misty Knight. What was it like going to work with your friends? I'm like, it's just dreamy. The whole thing is dreamy, you know? Like, me and Dorian, we started out together at the Jazz Actors Theater. So, like, you know, all, all his milestones I've been there for and vice versa, and, and for him to be present for this is just, like, you know, kismet, you know? Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. And he's... Just for the record, he's so excited for you. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've we've been like, you know, just in it the whole time. So, what happened to Bushmaster at the end? I know you might not be able to tell us all the spoilers, but did he go back to Jamaica? Oh, yeah. We know he lived. Yeah, yeah. But he went back home. He went back home to Nine Mile specifically. It's in it's in the um, like in the show. Like okay. Tilda talks about it. Like he has to go home and uh, take like uh, less concentrated doses of nightshade to, to heal himself. So he's going, he's going back to Nine Mile to get his power. And it's, and it's clear that nightshade grows better in its natural state yeah. than in a greenhouse. Yes, exactly. It's, it's clear that it's better getting it from the source. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we might see Bushmaster season three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm putting it out there that we're getting to season three. Yeah, we, well, yes, we're getting to season three, and you're going to see Bushmaster, right? <laughs> Done. You hear? You hear? All right, cool. <laughs> they haven't booked it yet, but we're putting it out there. This is happening. Done deal. Done deal. <laughs> what is one thing that you want people to take away from this season? I really like the conversation about the diaspora, you know, that black people are not a monolith, and that um, those differences that exist amongst us need to be, you know, paid attention to and respected. And also the divide because of those differences needs to be like, I don't know, you know shut down. And also that like heroes and, and villains are not absolutes, you know, and how you deal with people should also, you know, leave room for that, that gray area that is human. I think, you know, Luke, Rassles with that quite a bit, and so does uh, Bushmaster. So, yeah. Okay, and last question. Yeah. How cool is it to be on the set with Rakim? What? <laughs> the God MC? Like, I mean, come on. I, I went back for that, you know? I know, because like, you weren't even in I that know, scene, I, but I, I know you were in that like, club somewhere. Yes, Did yes, they put you like, in a costume or something? No, no, no. <laughs> I was just off to the side, like, taking it all in. But that was amazing, you know? It's like my childhood. Like, this whole thing, like, you know, Cheo was sort of revisited. This is my childhood in a, in a show. You know? Yeah. And all of the, you know, the various players. Are, yeah, it's just like really cool, surreal.